and hello guys and welcome back guys to my channel this is a quick quick update because so many, so many of you emailed me and asked me how did i close my day with my uh, the gbp trade so there is my gbp trade guys right here in front of your screens and remember the gbp jpy trade that i had uh, open during the live stream so i did catch i didn't catch it you know i, I, I closed it earlier you know i closed it earlier on but the thing is, is that, as you can see, uh, I closed it at the 140, 149. I mean, so it was, uh, it was just around this area here, guys. Okay, uh, 140, uh, 140, 149, uh, 149. Uh, yes, around, around, around this area right here, guys. Okay, so this is my exit area, 149. Let me just go here. So around this area right here, guys. Okay. And, and as you can see, you know, it wasn't the best area. The best area would be here, the very bottom. But the thing is this, that not always we will find the, the best, not always we will be able to close our trades at our desired level or at our desired take profit level. Sometimes we need to sacrifice, you know, and sometimes we need to uh, close those trades a little bit earlier. And this is exactly what I did. Why? Because, well, because I'm, I have been looking at the at the live news, okay, the live parliament and all the speeches, what's happening in the parliament about Brexit right here, right now, in front of your screens, and it's extremely risky, you know. And uh, what I noticed is that sometimes when when something you know majorly is being stated, some big big statements, I'm seeing, uh, you know, I'm seeing that this is impacting the GBP market and especially the GBP JPY, where I had my the trade i had guys i invested 2500 euro in this trade as you can see and my so my total profit wise was not well it was 2100 during my live stream but due to the fact that i was still waiting 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 you know the price kept going up i was waiting you know uh, as you can see in you know, my live stream i got 2100 profit but the price went up and the more price goes up the more money i lose that's why you know i saw that uh, I saw that the price, you know, was, was, was clearly, you know, uh, respected this this five on a five minute chart, this support area, you know, uh, and it it basically, you know, price steadily went up. So I was, you know, I, I, I kind of freaked out a little bit. So in terms of guys, when you see that the, that there is support is being reached, and when you see that yes, the price will go up for next few hours for sure. Make sure, guys, you do not wait. Make sure that you close your trades a little bit earlier and get your profits and get out of the trade. Because, uh, because you can lose all of your profits that you generated already and you can actually get into, the, into a losses, you know. And this is something we don't want to happen. We want to make sure that we at least generate 50, 40, 40 to 50% return on our investment. Uh, if possible and close our trades earlier again if possible and it was possible in my case uh, but as you can see guys i still did lose a few hundred euro because i closed it a little bit a uh, little bit too late but uh, okay nevertheless guys you know it's it it, it, it was not it was not that bad but uh, make sure guys that you know make sure you do close your trades so long story short if you are making a, if you are making a sell trades okay uh, meaning that you're thinking that the price will go down close them with the next support uh, on a five minute charts okay if you are uh, if you if you are making a buy trades uh, you know meaning that the price will go up close them at the next resistance it will be here and as you can see guys we can make money in both ways again we are, so i made profit from i made profit so it, i made i actually i entered my market i entered my trade yesterday in this area because i saw that the resistance was broken and the price went down it went you know and then it went back up again but if you wait too long we will lose money okay so make sure that uh, again if you make sure that you close your trades at the next resistance for buy uh, and then uh, and uh, for sale uh, close your trades at the next support because guys because you see that the volatility in the tr and, and the direction of the trades will change all and they change all the time look the price was here yesterday it went back down up down now it's up again and now due to this speech due to this fundamental fundamentals news release that's actually continuing for last four hours you know you will never know where this price is gonna go it could if, if they're gonna say something negative in uh, about the gbp some crazy statement okay something about the eu and something about the uh, previous uh, previous uh, news releases that were being released about uh, uh, you know some you know depending on which market that could imp impact that could impact uh, gbp currency heavily 
and the price could again slip, slip back down and back, get back again. And each of these, in each of these price things, if you don't know when to close the trade, you can either lose all of the profits you already generated, or you can be deep, deep in the, in the losses. And that's what I showed you guys, showed you in the pre, in the previously as well. That you know, uh, you can lose more in forex. You can lose more money than you have. That's why I can't stress enough that you should start from min these minimum lot sizes. And not this not as high investment as, as myself. I invested two and a half k per one trade. That's way too much if you are newbie. But yeah, guys, if you're my, uh, if you're interested in becoming my academy student and I'm a member, you're always welcome to. But always make sure that you start with minimum lot sizes and minimum lot sizes only. And now my next trade that I should close is a GBP CAD because the price for GBP CAD is again it's starting to go it, it's going up you know it's starting to go up and it doesn't the picture for this doesn't look great either so make sure you always know when to close your trades make sure you don't leave your trades open for too long because they can change direction even while you are asleep. So that's, that's something that you need to understand. And Forex markets are open from Monday to Friday and that's why you know make sure that you are you know you know what's happening in the markets. So trade safely, trade responsibly, enjoy your profits and always watch your, your trades that are open and uh, never train blindly, okay? And there is no magic in trading, as I usually tell you. There is only education and practice. Those are the magics in trading. Education, appropriate education and appropriate practice. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please, please like and subscribe and smash those like buttons, uh, smash those like buttons, you know, and also subscribe to my channel. Uh, and see you guys again on the next video. Bye.